connected to the major role that it plays to balance the body that's called homeostasis in the autonomic neuroendocrine and immunological system. So in other words, melanin may play a much bigger role than just absorbing all this radiation and when you get it into your body it actually has a major effect on your immune system. Here's a picture of a one uh, of a um, baby at 35 days of pregnancy and this is the eye uh, of, of an embryo inside a mother. It's a very tiny little thing. Notice that the eye is pure melanin. That's an amazing picture, isn't it? To see all this melanin is inside and when the embryo first forms there is what's called the dark streak, it's all melanin. Okay, here's an example of a plant. It's an eggplant that has melanin in it and a genetically changed one that is no melanin in it. Notice the size of the two difference. I mean, this is an indirect indication that melanin, you know, directly can transduce energy in the vegetable kingdom. Now, the body uh, is a living matrix and you really want to get this because this is kind of part of the operating system of your body. You know, and I know that as we're talking about it, you really have to strain a little bit to stay with me, but I think it'll make some sense here. The, the body is actually a communication system where everything is connected to everything else and it works through light. It works through light. It's called biophotons. And in this communication system, cells have connections to other cells called integrins and electrons and light flows between cells. So it's like a supercomputer. Your body is like a supercomputer and the skin is connected to every other part of the body. Kind of like a spider web where everything, when you tuck on one part of the spider web, it connects to everything else. And so these cells connect to the connective tissue, which the skin is part of, and it all works like semiconductors. Now semiconductors like computer chips are made out of silicon. These are living semiconductors. Your body is made out of this complex hyper supercomputer that figures everything out and this is what energy medicine is all about and when you put chemicals or drugs or lotions or pesticides or mercury from dental fillings that are leaking into your body then this matrix gets upset. This matrix does not function, the energy doesn't communicate well and this is where chaga is I believe very useful because it helps you detoxify from all of this. Now here's another form of radiation that's now in our environment. It's called, this is from 2000, uh, from 1990 to 19, uh, 2007. This is the exponential rise of cell phone use in the United States. This is the increase in 2000 to 2010 of radiation in the environment. This is what we're living in. Here's an example. I just brought one of my, my little... Um, uh, this is a meter that measures um, the microwave in this room that you're sitting in. Okay, this, this is measuring that. You can actually hear, you can hear, you know, the wireless. I can point it exactly where the most radiation is coming from. These are the communications. That, 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 that is your Wi-Fi that's in this hotel. This is what people are living in nowadays, you know. In this, we don't know it because you don't feel it, you don't have a sense for it, you need a machine or in this case a microwave detector, you know, so you can see it. So I'm mentioning this is because we are changing as a species and the kids are changing. Have you noticed how the kids are changing in school? They're not learning so well. They're living with their iPads and their iPods and their cordless telephones and everything else and they're constantly being irradiated. Well, the studies are coming out of Sweden now is showing that after 10 years exposure to cordless phones and cell phones, if you're under a teenager doing that, you have a five-fold increase in brain tumors. Now, this is not being generally talked about, and I don't want to scare people. I just want to tell you what the studies are beginning to show, and it's highly controversial. But you need to do prevention about this, because everybody's using these communicators, and if you read the fine print on them, it says, don't put closer to one inch next to your skin. 
look, read your manual. It's a really fine point if you have an iPhone or, you know, if it's a Blackberry, it says an inch. So, you know, this is microwave radiation, but it's modulated once, as you can hear, and that's what the body isn't happy about. So, because of this radiation, there is a, about now in cities between 100 to a 20,000 fold increase in background microwave radiation since 1980. Because we've put cell phone networks up, now we're putting up smart meters on people's houses in California. They're all using microwaves, and everybody says, well, they're not affecting anything. But we have shown studies, uh, many, many scientific studies, that it causes DNA breakages, and the body generally repairs this DNA. But if you have chaga in your, on your skin, I believe, or in your body, it helps repair these DNA breakages more. So just that reason alone, I think, as prevention, it's a useful product to have. Does that make some sense to you? Yes. Yeah. Because you really, you know, this is what we're living in, and we're kind of drowning in this microwave without even knowing it, because we don't see it like light, or we don't hear it like sound. We don't have a sense for it. And these things take a while. So melanin has a high antitoxic potential and helps enzymatic processes. It's a non-specific protective agent. It helps against mutation. Uh, it's capable of interacting with other chemicals called xenobiotics uh, that cause oxidation like heavy metals and other things. The body gets rid of them. It's one of the biggest thing. And it has a photo and radio protective activity. In fact, animals fed chaga, as I'll show you in a minute, live longer when you irradiate them with gamma rays, those really high intensity rays that come from atomic bombs and from nuclear reactors. They live a lot longer when they take chaga. They've done studies in animals. Here, 35, 305 days versus the control group died in 186 days. Now, I'm not suggesting any of us get exposed to gamma rays or whatever. Not healthy, you know. But we're living in a world that's a little abnormal. It's not what your grandparents lived in and not even what your parents lived in. 